before you came, I was all alone. It is bad to be alone. Alone. Bad. Friend. Good. Friend. Good. <laughs> Garrosh. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. The Garrosh. Let's do it. Garrosh Illidan. This is what you guys have been dreaming of. This is all you've ever wanted, chat. It even kind of makes sense because his face is green. Like, it looks funny. Clunky as all get out as we expected. I'm not loving this draft, honestly. Your hood isn't as empty as it looks. Yeah, so going by Lightforge, Plague of Wrath is a 119, which isn't too bad. That's considered a good good card. Okay, uh, this is clunky, isn't it? Man, why are you off curve, Battle Fiend, you fool? You fool. Um, might not be a good draft, but it's very interesting. Drink with me, friend. <laughs> Whoa! Bouncing the Lazul. Man, I didn't expect to see that. Um,. I mean, I, I'm, I'm trading here always, right? Just always, always. I could have executed it, but I just don't think that's worth it. I don't think a three-two on board is that valuable. Um, okay. I mean, we, we're we're looking good from here, right? Like Marrow Slicer into Hailbringer seems fine. We got a lot of stuff to draw in the meantime for six, etc. Six plus. I just still, it feels like this deck is. Um, <laughs> the absurd degree of irony in the Firehawk here coming down on three. The absurd, the absurd, like, like, come on, come on. That's just absolutely absurd. Thankfully, very easily killed. Why trade? Because he's a priest and leaving a minion on board on priest makes me super nervous. If I can easily avoid it, right? Kind of have to leave this one on board because I can't no. make a great play. I don't want an immolation or and then have a gap, so. It's gonna chill. Your hood isn't as easy as it looks. Okay. Whiff again. Can't believe he bounced this. I mean, I, I, it's fine if he just wanted the tempo 3 2 instead of the 2 2. It's just like upgrading his turn, but we tried to make Firehawk work in a couple places, like Elemental Mage. I think we even like, tried it in a Shaman one time. I know we fiddled around with it quite a bit. Fiddled around with it. We shall end this okay. Yeah, Envoy in Arena, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Just trying to guess the cards your opponent has must be a nightmare. Dual class arena in particular, I guess. Gosh. Okay, not not the worst uh, result for leaving a minion on board, by the way. I think in the scheme of things, we're sort of okay with that. Kargath here, just to clean that up. Seems cool. Put it in the deck. That's awesome. Next turn, we can Troublemaker, hopefully. A lot of pressure incoming here. This is another six incoming, maybe, if we can clear the board up. Now we might be able to turn the corner with damage, right? We just have Reaper and um, Lapidary, potentially, and... Oh, Holy Nova was a good answer, though. Oh, well, the board is going to be empty, though, so that's the important thing. 
God, Troublemaker just seems insane, man. Hey, bonus six damage here. Three minions. Like, God, can you imagine dealing with this? Is this card just going to carry us to victory? Man. Were you just for president? I would never be president. Seems like the worst job ever. Okay. Um. Okay, that was fun. Uh, Troublemaker just seems so ridiculous in Arena. I mean, I think it's pretty solidly constructed too, but it seems so ridiculous in Arena. They have Livewire Lance at 205. That's crazy. Rattlegore's 239. Man. It's fun looking at this tier list. Oh, Marsh Hydra Druid. Yeah, I bet that's insane. That makes sense. Instant reactivity, value generator. Are you happy with this run because you like Warrior? Probably, yeah. I do like Warrior a lot. And I think this is, might be the best um, Halloween portrait as well. This is a really good Halloween portrait, so. For both of those reasons, perhaps. Um... Yeah, I guess Battle Fiend here. I mean, eh, I'm torn. Like, it's it's definitely a solid play for next turn. Not a great play, but a solid play. But I am a little bit torn on the fact that it's going to reduce the mid-game options my hand has. But I think I still have to take it. So Put Reaper just because it's such a strong card. I mean, it's not a crazy argument. Because I could maybe get away with an Immolation or a Hero Power next turn. But then I'm still missing a turn four. I think I have to go for this. I don't want to give up too much early minion value. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see this hero power down. That gives me a good hero power target, so that's nice. Card in your opponent's deck, yeah. Okay. He's going to ignore this? Okay, sure. Gives me a little more leeway, that's nice. Okay, easy, nice. Feeding this battle beans are gonna great. This is wonderful. You have six four drops in your deck. Yeah, I saw even in hand. I said I don't have any four drops ready in my hands. I will not be Oh my god. It's big. Oh, okay. Easy. Um, cool. All right. Yeah, no soul shards. I mean, I'm probably going to play this next turn regardless as a 5 5. I don't mind. Trade in <laughs> Battle Fiend into that Chill and Yeti if I want. Um, is it actually right? I think it might be right. I think it just dumped the 5 5 hero power trade in the Battle Fiend, right? I had a 5 5 on board. Got a great 7 8 to follow it up. I like it. I like it. This, this Battle Fiend has been absolutely a home run. My god. I don't, how, I don't know how much face damage dealt, but also getting to trade into a four drop after all of that was said and done too. What a bonus, dude. Smork, you think? <sighs> I don't think I can. I, I'm scared to leave minions up against, or as priest always, just, you know, one apotheosis ruins your day and stuff. But uh, if I had an argument Reaper in hand, I probably would have for sure. But as it stands. We will the the black All right. Uh, Immolation Aura could make this thing deal a ridiculous amount of damage, by the way. If he, like, trades and can't kill it, he goes up to six. This pushes it up to ten. We'll it would still be alive. So, Oh, taunting away, though? Um, oh, uh, I think that's 
one off lethal, right? Oh, I can slam it actually for lethal, I think, right? Goes to six, this takes it to eight and then 10. Yeah, and I have 11. Cool. Well, that's a fun play. Sick play. <laughs> okay. That's a combo I didn't expect to use, but I love it. That was fun. Uh, doing good, Chris Sh Shack. Dude, how you doing, man? I had so many, like, ideas for cool decks this expansion, and then, like, a lot of them just didn't end up being that... They didn't quite have the hook I was hoping for, I guess. They just didn't end up being that exciting, you know? So we'll have to ignore some of those. I, I think actually part of that is just the demands of viewers on YouTube has really changed. I, I don't think people are interested in moderately interesting decks anymore. I think you have to make something really, really stupidly insane to get people's attention now. For whatever reason, first owner otherwise. He trades here. He life taps. I did not expect that. Wow. You surprised me. How unusual. Am I doing this soul shear thing or not? I feel a little weird using the coin when I have the wretched tutor available, but like I could just uh, I'll drag you this next turn, save the coin for a post wretched tutor world. This isn't getting healed, is it? What's he doing with three mana? Is it anything that scary? I think I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna chill. Just setting this up. It's a little bit greedy, but life taps the most likely outcome, and it worked out. Okay. So we took you know a bit of heat on damage, but it's okay. We're a warrior. <laughs> All right. So now we're back. Now we can go wretched tutor coin if we need to clear a board or whatever. Or just, you know, coin a Hailbringer 2 is fine, whatever. Here, I think Hero Power Soul Shear looks good. Okay. Yeah, that could have gone way worse. I mean, we're still behind, of course, but as coin player, we're kind of supposed to be a little bit. Uh, now I can get coin Onyx 2 at some point. Play this for now. Warrior's really good for Onyx. I mean, there's a handful of different exciting plays there. I have to decide which of these we care more about. This is pretty nice with the Wretched Tutor as well as like a, you know, budget flame strike kind of thing. Budget both in efficiency and um, cost. <laughs> Busted flame strike might be more the term we're looking for. Okay, he's tapping a lot, which, I mean, scary because it's a lot of cards, but also he's falling behind maybe, so. Or at least he let me have the board back a little bit here. Although not quite yet. Wow, okay. I think we're just taking a trade and then Onyx, right? Onyx coin. I mean, Wretched Tutor doesn't make sense really. Kind of a waste of a coin here just to get a hero power because I lose the ability to coin the Troublemaker or the Pit Crocolisk. So that's a little bit disturbing, but I gain one mana what cards, which know? might give me stuff to do as well. I may not coin. Let's just see what Magic we get. Like discover a rush menu and whatever. Oh, this is not one mana cards. Why do I keep saying one mana cards? This is just cards. This is amazing. Why am I thinking this is a, a Cobalt Spellkin? I'm an idiot. This is just amazing. This is a thousand times better. I'm dumb. Forgot how this card worked for a minute. Oh, that's easy to trade into. That's nice. Uh, is this trade Immolation Aura or is that Overkill? Maybe it's actually Slam Immolation Aura? Hero Power is a little scary though because I am getting kind of low. Another troublemaker, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I'm at 14. It's not that low, but it's kind of low. Uh, hopefully we get a, a, a fairly clean troublemaker here. You know, if he plays like, 
I don't know, 5-4 and a 3-3, right? Like, we're going to trade in Troublemaker. Hope one of the 3-3 three, three snipes. This is really cool with Plague of Wrath if I had another spell. <laughs> they don't... They don't, uh, they don't work that way otherwise. Uh, Noble Timjin with 12 months! Oh my god, dude. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, that's actually the exact sort of weak board I was looking for, but... Unfortunately, the Kobold Sand Troopers a little spooky. Just because... It is a lot of damage output. I kind of hope I kill both of these so they can't also hit face. Okay, that's good. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, down to 11. I mean, Shaman and Warlock have damage, but they're not, like, known for it. There's no, like, weapon that's gonna smork me. Even if he clears the board, like, Troublemaker's really good again. Hex! Okay. Sure. Sure, sure. Attempt number two. No Pyroblast, I hope. <laughs> These are so insane. I can't believe this card's real, man. <laughs> He's just busted. Oh, Hellfire's good, though. Oh my god, he's digging for like a lethal out here, I bet. Oh god. I have a sometimes lethal here with Crocolisk. Like, Croc face, hit, go attack face and hope the three threes connect. Is he seriously sending that face? Am I dead next turn? Chat, am I dead next turn? Is he, does he have burst in hand? Or is he just doing it while he's got Spell damage. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. I think he might have it. I'm going for it. Uh, that's scary, dude. That's too, oh, I only need one to hit. That's that's so likely, dude. Come on, don't you dare kill me, dude. Don't you dare kill me, bro. Come on. Yes. That was spooky, dude. <laughs> if he didn't have the lethal, he might have just cost himself the game. Because I don't know if I would have gone for it if he hadn't shown that, right? <laughs> Did he get a second lightning bolt? Yeah, that could have been it. Yeah, I don't know. Just glad we got out of that alive. Ooh, hand. Man, that's that's juicy. Hit my one three mana card so that I can replace it with a warehouse laser immediately. <laughs> um, the only downside with this is hero powering on two looks kind of kind of whack now. But I don't care. We're still gonna play it. Fire alley for three? Yeah, that could have been cool. Yeah. I doubt I ever hero power here unless there's just something that I can kill. Which there could have been like the one three or whatever. I have a four five. I'm thinking about just taking this for card quality's sake, right? Like our curve is gonna be fine ish. I'm not gonna have any completely dead moments. The Immolation or Plague Wrath is pretty sick, though, so part of me is wanting to hold that, and then there's this for curve considerations as well. But I think this is just such a good card. I think I just take the card going. Debatable, though, for sure. I could, I can argue for all three of those in a compelling way, I think. And one of them's probably right, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. It does seem a little weird taking an 8-drop when... Uh, you're on three mana. I mean, if that had been like, you, you know, Soul Shear, Wretched Tutor, Fishy Flyer, you know, or even even like a Fishy Flyer, I would have always grabbed the Fishy Flyer, I think, just for curve, but they were all kind of expensive situational stuff. Immolation were cheap, but situational, right? Um... Let's just go face. If he swings the board at all, Marrow Slicer can help fix that, so. Let's just make him trade, right? Perfect draw here would be Violet Warden, Mage Scribe, Dragon Ball. Lapidary maybe actually would be pretty good. Because I could play this on six, no problem. What to do? What to do? Oh, that's so slow. Oh my god. It does kind of um, encourage me to hero powers, the only thing. Time runs out on 
Uh, I ever just hit him in the face for seven? I don't think so, right? Where is my slam? <laughs> is not it. Pretty freaking awkward. And I think, as weird as it feels, that this is still the right plan. If it, if it had been a 2-3, I wouldn't have hesitated to make that play, right? Or, I mean, a, let's say a 3-3. Three, three. If it had been a 3-3, three, three, I never would have hesitated to make that play. So, even though it has one health, I think... Like, obviously, you could hero power and save a weapon here, but the problem is, right, I want this weapon equipped for this turn. So, I just kind of have to use that first turn ability to make sure the weapon's ready to go for the future turn. Because I still want to do other stuff in the meantime. So, I don't want to have to spend the mana on this later. Spend the mana now. Kind of waste the first turn ability. So that you're set up for later. Awkward math. Again, hero power here feels weird. Could go... Oh, Wretched Tutor hero power doesn't feel so weird. You don't love the Wretched Tutor here necessarily, but um, again, it's just set up. You have the slam actually, so... There's a decent chance this could kill something with four health or, you know, of course a wide board. But he's not going to play a wide board into this. So five health isn't hard to do. Uh, Gun Syndicate, thanks to the tier one, dude. That's really nice. Oh my god, it's getting late, guys. Arena takes forever to play. I wonder. This dude is so excited to kill zombies, by the way. He looks really yeah, pumped. Tour? tour guide, huh? Secret as well. What is that secret? I have a feeling it might actually be Mirror Entity. Let's attack face first, see if we can weed that out. Oh. Nope, it's Vaporize. Okay, well that's easy. I'm pretty relieved to see that Vaporize target, really, to be honest. Alrighty. Still ahead here. Decent play here with a Fishy Flyer, like a Slam. Fishy Flyer could be nice. Slam Plague Wrath could be nice too, frankly. Probably not as nice, but possible. Troublemaker Animated Broomsticks, always a cool play because you can trade into stuff to open up the 3-3s to go face. Yeah, I thought Fall Guys Season 2 was out already, too. I, I don't follow it closely, but I just feel like I heard about that a while ago. What to do? I don't really know. Do. I don't know how it works. Come on and slam it. And welcome to the arena. Okay. Bit, bit awkward. I don't think I mind freezing myself because I have eight drop plays I'm gonna make anyway pretty much 99% of the time, so shouldn't matter if I'm frozen for next turn at all. I mean I guess occasionally I could, but so still had quite a bit on board. Um if he just clears the board here, which he should spend most of his mana resolving my board, or at the very least leaving stuff behind for my troublemaker to stick just fine. Yes, yeah, Honor, I know, yeah, it's crazy. Fireball ready! Can't quite see him, but you can kind of barely see it there at the bottom. I mean, we're saying it's the same broom. For all we know, I guess all brooms in the world of uh, Warcraft could look like this broom, but I, I tend to agree with you that it's the same broom. I think that's the logical conclusion to make. All right, uh, I know Troublemaker could uh, snipe that potentially, and I could have a slightly higher attack minion on board, but this just increases the odds Troublemaker's uncontested, and we only lose one face damage, so why risk it? So hard. No, don't, don't feel dumb. I don't mind trivia, even if it's trivia we've seen. We've talked about it a lot, don't worry. There's there's something that always happens where it's like, uh, you know, you guys see, like, news or, or whatever cool thing that's, you know, whatever, right? There's a million things. Uh, nine and five is 14, 15, okay. There's always stuff that comes up when I'm streaming or otherwise, and, um, you know, you guys come and share it, and that's great. I mean, usually I've heard it before. Because there's, you know, hundreds of other people here who also are following the same sorts of Hearthstone news or whatever. But it's fine. It's not your fault. No no harm in, you know, mentioning it again or sharing cool trivia. Okay, 4-0, oh, man. We're flying so far, but I don't even really know what our deck is doing well other than just playing Troublemakers. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's all we're doing is just playing Troublemakers. I, I'm worrying, wor wondering if we should keep an Immolation or an opening hand there, just in case we fall behind. Oh, this is a pretty bad curve, so kind of wish I had an Immolation or right now. Oh, did he see my class? Okay. 
Happy to see that. That was amazing. You don't pick the one, see? Less happy to see that. Winning a four drop always. Hitting this just doesn't seem worth it, right? Well, not always, always, but... I just don't think... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to hit the down over two turns, basically. I'm usually coining a four drop here. Probably Fishy Flyer if I don't find anything else. Um, Meryl Slicer Lapidary, by the way. That's awesome combo in hand. Is it gold? Yeah. Oh, no. It's definitely not Meryl Slicer. Okay. Do I go for the uh, Fishy Flyer here? And value trade and leave his hero power? Or do I just clean trade? I think I just clean trade. I can take a look at this first, though. It still makes the flyer playable. So we just kind of get a free roll. There's some cool stuff I can do with Brute, but ultimately I think Fishy Flyer is just too good. Right, it's just too good. I'm not going to value trade because I don't want to give it zero power. Um, the ability to interact. I want to use Marrow Slicer so that I can set up for the Lapidary ASAP. I mean, that said, I don't know if I'm going to need to deal 9 damage, so... <laughs> it's a little bit like, uh, what are you going to do with the 9 damage, Reach? Maybe we'll wait until the board's empty or something, I don't know. Hopefully we don't draw those too soon. It'd be so stupidly unlucky. And see, like, I, I don't want to hit face or nine. I want to resolve the board here. So I have to wonder if it's better to do something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to wait to use that for later to deal five, right? Like, the, the nine increment's weird. I'll, I'll take the risk that I draw whatever. That's fine. Not stressed about that. Okay. So next turn we can deal six with the lapidary is pretty nice. Hey, if I need to. I, this is an amazing tutor, but I don't have a spell. I, I don't have a single spell. Unbelievable. I think this is a little bit better interacting with his board, right? Um, we know that he has a bounce for this, so I'm going to have to hit it. Because we know that's a spell from the Wand Maker. Uh, I don't know if it's a playable spell necessarily, right? So we're kind of sadly leaving extra damage on board. Perhaps for no upside. But I just don't want him bouncing that. I think that's potentially too good. Particularly when I have two one ones on board, right? Um, so sadly, I'm, I'm getting really low here. We've we've uh, taken some, some dingers here. I need Aldraki or Soulshear maybe to get more fragments in the deck. Or... What? He's need to start stabilizing the board. I don't know. What did he just play? What was that? I didn't even see it. What was that? Oh, nature studies. That doesn't usually suck. <laughs> I'm worried. That doesn't usually suck. Um, it's one face for six. What a madman. It's the right play, but I'm real spooked. Oh my god. What a baller play, dude. She's not having a spell for this is just crippling me. What now? Who's got the fattest hands in town? We do. We do. Who's got the fattest hands around? We do. We do. Look at this hand. It's so fat. It's as if I didn't have 10 two drops. That's what it's like. Regretting not keeping the emulation aura, though, by the way. Punished. My thought was, oh, it's Priest again. He's probably not going to be super high tempo, but he was. He had a lot of tempo cards. He is frozen, so... Might save me a... You know, minuscule amount of... Oh, my God. Shut up. Now, Drac, he's like one turn too late, really. I mean, dead, so it doesn't matter, but... All right. Well Out tempoed us like crazy. <laughs> it's hard yeah, lately figuring out what people want to watch. So period. my default stance has frankly just been to do whatever I wanted to do. 
since I can't really seem to guess what people want anyway. <laughs> I don't know what anybody wants, so I've just been doing what I want to do. Um, so today I wanted to play Arena. I, you know, I wanted to play some Battlegrounds. I wanted to play whatever. I've just been doing what I want to do, so it's working out. Just whatever I'm having fun doing seems to be like the best content anyway. Usually it's like, oh, well. You just is having fun. All right, let's just check. He's going to play the two drop dryads, and I'm going to emulation or everything. You deserve more viewers, Regis. No, I can't keep up with the memes. The drop. People like memes and drama, and I can't do that. It's never been my strong suit. I'm not going to go for the slam. I think I actually might need the card draw off the slam, to be frank. I don't know. I did. I did use coins, so I don't know. Maybe maybe the slam was just better in hindsight. I'm gonna use slam right now, though. So, yay! Uh, that will actually eventually come. I think at the end of the year. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be a top ten intros on YouTube, but I, I, I want to make a compilation video of like my best intros of 2020, of which there are a lot of good ones. Some I, sometimes I watch a video and I was like. Oh my god, I, my I don't even remember making this intro, beast. but it's amazing. I get, I get pumped. I made an awesome intro. Uh, this is a nice combo, because otherwise I kind of have a pickle of a turn here. I mean, is he going to hit something good off this? I'm going to be so annoyed if he gets a good minion instead of like a two drop. <laughs> no, it will be. It will be. It really will be a real thing. It's a good draw. Good 6-7, so yeah, we're looking better. This is coming together. Like, all at once. Don't get something good. Oh, that's pretty weak. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. That's fine. Um, Is this Immolation aura a bull? Immolation or a trade hero power to clear these, basically. Oh, I don't even have hero power. I could rocket Og Merchant as well. What now? I'm really scared to leave this alive. It feels like it's just going to create too many problems, right? I don't know, I feel like the Rocket Argonauts and the Emulation Aura both have a lot of value, so I can't decide which is better. I guess the Emulation Aura because of this. Or no, Hero Power is fine. I can take four. It's fine. I don't need to. I, I want to save the Og Merchant, right? This dude does have ping, so this play feels kind of wasteful in a lot of ways, right? Next turn, this is good. This is good with Og Merchant, too, though. Man. Um... Would love to find a really cheap spell for this guy. Ooh, he had a good 5-drop. That hurts. Ouch. That's painful. I didn't want him to have a good 5-drop, obviously. Am I doing this? I get a 3-4 and a 2-1 on board? Or am I just ripping the Vanguard? I think I'm just ripping the Vanguard, right? I think this has too many upsides with the Execute. That's not so bad. This goes to 2 really light board actually not a bad troublemaker board really in the scheme of things um it's also not a bad mage scribe execute board too leaves four damage on board i get two spells am i gonna get a better execute i guess is the question potentially against druid there's a lot of big stuff i mean if this hits these two i'm over the moon if it misses these two like if it leaves up the five one i'm like the saddest boy Hey, take, by the way. Thanks for the 11 months, man. I didn't even see that. I, tr I trust the Troublemaker. He's carried us to victory so far. I think we've got some really cool plays here that I don't want to lose. Um, I'm worried about him having one big swing card now. I mean, this the only way this goes really, really badly is if I don't kill either of these. Like, if this one goes face and one kills the Raider, which is so unlikely. If I get either of these, I think I'm okay. No, no. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Great news, great news. That, that, that was the... Second best outcome, I think. Maybe, maybe arguably even the best outcome in some ways. Second best outcome. <laughs> this is dead, but that, that's not bad at all. Don't mind this at all. Pretty good in the scheme of things. 
I think we'll just pit croc hit straight hit face go feeling good still holding this here this little trio seems nice if, if he doesn't play anything to execute now we have this too which is cool I can actually do this too to make sure we can trade into something oh my god okay well that's big thankfully I can kill him though this is what I was talking about right like Okay, managed to stay equal on board there, at least for a minute. Um, Immolation or a Battle Rage could be nice. That's kind of cool. Does he have more big threats, or is that kind of the last big threat for a, for a minute or two, at least? Oh, that's not a big threat. Okay, nice. Hey, I got you, friend. Still not a big threat. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I have an Immolation or a first to make this better. I don't think I need to. These are still both really good targets. Let's, uh, we don't need hero power here, so let's go information. Boru seems sick. Okay. You're in my school. Never Ever hitting here? I don't really care about the 1 1, do I? No. I don't care. You cry. Nice. The, the, uh, this card's actually, actually insane in Arena. It's broken. It's completely broken. It's too good. Even even after it gets iron beaked, it's like, oh, by the way, it's still a six eight. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> it's still a six eight, man. It's crazy. It's so insane. Okay. I don't know. Probably don't really need to hit that. Could probably battle rage here, but I'm gonna be greedy. We have Immolation Aura, so I'm thinking the battle rage is maybe a desperation play later if I need it, right? Although, I don't know, that's kind of hard to achieve, so... I think the game is over. I don't think it matters, but... Cool. Troublemaker getting the kill, of course. OP card. All right. Now. Victory or death. Ooh, combos. Is that worth holding? Seems like a really strong combo. It's got a little bit of curve too, mid game and early game. Oh, nice, baby. Let's go. We've been hitting this battle fiend remarkably often so far, given that it's our only one drop, our only proactive one drop anyway. It's been it's been a turn one play in like half our games. I feel like it's pretty nuts. You don't pick the one. Okay, is that a soul shear or an ignore? I think that's just a soul shear. Now we have sightless watcher hero power for turn three. Hope to God I don't draw those by five, man. So unlikely. Normrod, dude. Thanks for the tier one or no the prime sub for. Five months, my good man. This is a normal demon hunter. Good God, dude. He's just he's just playing demon hunter. I have sort of a Arcanite Reaper adjacent play in the Lapidary. I have a Bog Merchant already. I think Emulation War is the most distinct option here, and he seems pretty high tempo. Uh, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to rocket Arg Merchant this right now because we know that he's got another twin slice to kill it So I kind of want to get the trade for it while I can that means he hero powers my Arg Merchant, but that's fine I don't really care. It doesn't mean I'm like sort of dead on anything to do next turn because I took the Immolation Aura So maybe I do let him just clear and then play for the Immolation Aura Like you know, maybe I just let him Kill the 3-2 with his twin slice and play another 2-drop or something, and then I Immolation Aura and we're happy. I mean, basically, I know this 2 is not a threat because of my Immolation Aura. I just hope he commits more stuff, because it's going to feel weird to me to commit the Immolation Aura without more stuff. Gorfi. Okay, well, that's not what I anticipated, I guess. 
That sort of sucks. Well, I'm less excited now. I mean, this seemed like a good play, but it wasn't. Would you help a weary traveler? Man, dude, stuff is crazy right now. Got to take that before it goes away. I mean, this leaves the board in a reasonable spot, so this is fine for emulation or later too, right? Might see the twin slice trade here. Yeah, I don't, I don't love where we're at. I mean, uh, yeah, okay. I can't take nine. I got to emily short that, right? Like, well, I can Og Merchant it, I guess. Oh, yeah, actually, Og Merchant Big Whelp's great. Yeah, that's the play for sure. For sure, for sure. Quite a ping snipe there, man. Okay, well, I mean, now that the Troublemaker's coming online soon, I'm feeling a little better than I was, for sure. This was looking hairy, I thought, and now I think it's looking okay-ish. We can fishy flyer that right back ourselves. That's fine. I don't love that he's healing a lot, but also kind of doesn't matter. Actually, we might just slam hero power here, huh? Just play the fishy flyer uh, for tempo. Yeah, I like that better. I don't hate taking three. I think it's fine. This gives me the initiative to make the troublemaker potentially way better. This is a good eight nine as it gets, man. I. I don't think there's any better lines than these. Frostbolt's well, pretty efficient dealing with that. Oh, but only a neophyte. That's no problem at all. Nice. Okay, this is where we swing again on the same card that we've swung with every other time. It's just so insane. Hit a minion. Makes it more likely this survives, right? It's just so insane every time. Am I just ignoring that and going face, I guess? I think I have to, right? I mean, obviously it kills the troublemaker, but in the meantime, I've dealt 14 damage and leave myself with a gigantic board, including an Arcanite Reaper on it, right? So usually I set up for lethal here. I mean, I could go Burly Shovel Fist, but I'm not going to be killing the seven drop usually, right? If it's like a Tyrion or something, I'm super sad. I think I'm just going face. Hopefully the 3-3s three decide to play along and go phase 2. I don't need them hitting the minion at all. I mean, I guess if one hit, it kind of opens up this line, but I need them both to go phase. Nice. Yeah, that's fine, too. This puts me one off lethal, so from, from my own face or whatever. So if any minion sticks and stuff, it might be fine. Shuffle Fist is too slow. He's just dead. He's down on board. He had to trade this in to hit a taunt. That was a mistake. And you're just out on board. Could have hit like a 7 10 taunt and maybe would have survived. Okay. Oh, Ty oh, I said Tyrion. Oh, you know what I mean. I uh, Sorry, I, I use cards like Tyrion as shorthand for like... I don't mean literally Tyrion when I say cards like Tyrion. I mean like big scary taunt threat yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Like... Big scary card. The light shall bring victory. I get that a lot. I, particularly in like card reviews. When I'm doing a card review, I'll say like, yeah, I think Tyrion's a flame strike. I say like flame strike a lot as a, as a I'm, what I mean is random, or, you know, AOE, good stable AOE. Well, flame strike's not that good anymore, but you know what I mean. Just shorthand cards, example shorthand cards. Tyrion being the threat, flame strike being the AOE. Fireball being the burst damage, right? There's just cards that are naturally good references and examples for people to understand what you're talking about. For duty. Do I ever coin a hero power here for Priest? I really don't think so, right? Um, I already have six and eights. So I think I got to take the Aug version here for flexibility. Just, I already have stuff filling these needs. That opens up a need. Um, Priest and Paladin. I mean, they are both really board-based, but I feel like I have so many good big cards in hand, I don't want to use the coin, right? Because I have two eights in particular, so coin eight, eight would be really nice. Okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to coin. <laughs> we're going to coin Fishy Flyer instead, though. This still just gives me a nice curve, at least. Trump would never pass up on value. 
<laughs> Trump is the mayor of Value Town. I'm the mayor of Tempo Town. Tempo Town's way more fun. <laughs> I love Tempo Town. Is this worth? I think so, because I'm going to be playing a 5-5 next turn, right? Like, I, I, I can't just stick the Spectral right now, can I? Maybe, maybe, but I, I think it's this fine. Y you can think of it two ways, right? You can think of it as like, oh, you're losing an AoE. That sucks. Or you can think about it, your two-mana card killed his four-mana card, right? I mean, his four-mana card also killed my two-mana card. So, <laughs> it's eh, kind of shaky, but... But, uh, yeah, I think you get it. I think it's fine. And yeah, this is still a fine five drop. Is this active? No. That would be amazing if that were active right now. Oh my god. Be well so done. sick. Double trouble, man. Double trouble. Let's go. I love Troublemaker. McDoom, thanks for the two months, dude. Oh no. Oh no, chat. Oh yes, chat. Oh, yes, chat. Um, am I ever taking seven here? It doesn't really change my curve at all, so I don't think so. Oh, my God, chat. We got bailed out, man. Big time bailout. Big time bailout. All right. Woo. That was spooky, guys. I thought I was dead for right there. The whole game just ended almost. Execute off the top. Here. Raise dead. Got burrowing scorpid to keep in mind. Moving dragon breath rarely matters to us. I mean, we do technically have that freeze guy, so it could matter occasionally, I guess. I was gonna go spectral information hero power, but actually, I think this is fine. This usually denies that. Yeah, execute. Clutch! Thank god it wasn't a fiery dragon hawk. Dragon hawk sucks! Is that what it's called? Fiery dragon hawk? No. This is living dragon breath. What is that card called? It is a dragon hawk, right? Fiery hawk? Fire hawk. No, there's no dragon in it. Fire hawk. That sounds sick, by the way. Fire hawk. That sounds cool. A lot of pinflinger value so far, man. I'm not loving this right now. Not loving this right now. Renew? I was gonna troublemaker, but I might pit croc now, huh? Would you stop playing that? I think pit croc's the move, right? Too clean, too clean. Is dude ever gonna run out of cards? Troublemaker hero power seems pretty solid. Can you have a downturn, man? It's really not so bad if he's committing to this. That, that's fine. The 4 3 is not scary into the Troublemaker, so that would be fine. Mm, that's not that scary either. Same difference, right? Okay, this is good. This is good. Very, very low development here, actually. Oh, and he's taking the face hit. I love it. Um, yeah, Troublemaker Hero Power is awesome. You're, in my now. You're a troublemaker. I got two troublemakers. You're double trouble. You trouble one, trouble two. Hey, nice troublemaker. High five, Bill. I'm going to stream until I'm done with this arena run, and then we'll get some food. I'm winning a lot right now, so it may take a little longer than I thought. I was going to stream for 30 more minutes, but we might have to keep going if I keep winning. Right now, d troublemakers carry me to victory. It's all you. It's all you. What is that? What is that? Oh no! You got me killed! Get out of here! It's your fault! I'm dead because of you. <laughs> Ray Shadow Legend sending me letters now, yeah. Exactly. Hey, loser. Okay, where is my wretched tutor? Reporting for duty. Oh, this is still a really big board. Troublemaker is insane again. Uh, actually, yeah, Inhalation or Troublemaker is just fine. I want the I want the damage. Well, yeah, I want the damage. It's fine. He's he's really seemingly not redeveloping much every turn, which is nice. I do lose this combo though, but I think we're ahead so much. I want to dictate. 
You look lovely today. Thanks, Sadisi, dude. Today? I only look lovely today? <laughs> That's the stereotypical answer, right? What is this? Forbidden words. That is pretty slow, at least. Okay. But I don't have a lot of reload right now. Well, I guess I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Magic is not a toy. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Just package removal there. I love it. Whirlwind and Plague of Death packaged up together. It's great. Amazing. Rusty Raider's pretty solid, too. Double Plague of Wrath in hand. Oh, Rap Golem is spooky, dude. It's really spooky. How much damage do I just have right now? Actually, this is probably the Whirlwind Plague turn, right? I'm just going to go face first. I do kind of need to hero power the Wrapped Golem if I do that. Um, which means I couldn't really redevelop a threat. Maybe it's Whirlwind Spectral into this? Feels weird not to... What now? I think I am going to leave it up. Weirdly. I, I just essentially want him to commit more into... Um, into my removal, right? I think right now my removal is like kind of uh, mediocre. I know that I can kill the, the taunt without any problem thanks to the whirlwind, so that's not like going to disrupt any lethal pushes or anything. So here, if he just if, you know if he just kills this and redevelops, I just whirlwind the taunt and go face with the Arcanite Reaper and my minions and kill him. If he develops a crazy big board of stuff I have to kill, then I just Plague of Death it and it's fine. It's Plague of Death or Plague of Wrath? Plague of Wrath, sorry. Plague of Death's Priest. Um, yeah, he's dead. Oh well, maybe not. Hold up. Um, oh yeah, he's still dead. Just whirlwind and uh, Arcanite Hero Powers ten. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, bonus. We would have cleared the board so ridiculously efficiently. Not that we need it, but... Cool. Troublemakers again, guys. Like, yeah, he removed them, but they just swung so much tempo in the meantime. Don't diss my troublemakers like that. All right, this is fine. Can use the choice here. I need an early two drop. I can find it. If I need something awesome, I can find it. Uh, I don't know what I need yet. Let's just wait. It's kind of free, assuming I'm playing the rush the same turn. Not really, though, because you could still accelerate the rush minion the next turn. But... Demon Hunter Warrior. All right, we'll do it now. Just getting bored. Okay. You guys ever notice how every time I end a turn, I do this to the cards? It's kind of like um, in sports. I always had little habits and stuff I would do, like when I played tennis. Oh my god, that's beautiful. When I played tennis, uh, I had a very strict routine when I was receiving a serve. I had to tap each side of the corner on both sides and then sp spin my racket. Kind of do a spin in the air and catch it. Every time, without fail. It was mandatory. I had to do it. It would drive me crazy if I didn't. I was going to get fancy with the Rocket Og Merchant here, but uh, I think it's too valuable without Execute in hand. I'm just going to play this one straight. Hey, it's straight up Murloc deck? Oh, no, that's from his fishing That's right. <laughs> good, good job you got it on curve. Tennis stream win? Um, never. I, I wasn't that good at tennis. Yeah, exactly like uh, anybody who plays real with real cards, yeah. Um, I was like the captain of our tennis team. I helped start the tennis team at my high school. I was the first ever tennis captain and founder of the team with, with one particular teacher. Um, but I wasn't that good, really. Like, because we were all fairly new. I had, like, played as a kid and done summer camps and stuff, but we weren't good compared to other teams. We had, like, established teams and coaches and practices and stuff, you know. So I won a lot of individual matches, but we didn't win a single meet. I won about 50-50. Believe it or not. For duty. So not I'm not a good tennis player, it's the moral of that story. Nowhere near like a even college level or anything. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this one, right? Because we can always hero power that down later. And I don't want it to contest my Dragon Ball Skystalker too much or Rocket Arm Richard it down later, whatever it is, right? It's a little bit risky. Not on my watch. Oh, okay. Well, scratch all those plans. Immolation Aura it is, I guess. I need one. Give me that Immolation Aura, bro. Never mind, that's better. If I play a Mage Scribe, is it ever going to die? Or do I just commit the Vanguard? We will hold the Black Temple. Let's just say Anchor. Did the same thing for your school for the swim team. Nice, dude. It was super fun. Like starting a team and, you know, it was, it was I love tennis too. I, I, I had played basketball. I didn't play basketball in my senior year. Um, I like tennis because it's an individual sport instead of basketball, which was always a team sport. So I felt like you had more personal ownership and stuff. Okay, sick troublemaker here. For duty. So yeah, my senior year of high school, I, qu I quit the basketball team and I did tennis in the fall, or no, spring, and scholar bowl in the in the winter instead of basketball. Was never happier. It was amazing. Let's just go face right. It's fine. Uh, kind of like to snipe this if I can, but if not, it's okay. That's fine too. How can I not suck at arena? I, I don't know. Um, I'm not even good at arena. You just. Basic Hearthstone mechanics apply, like understanding when to trade versus when to go face. Like, you know, do you have more cards than your opponent? In that case, maybe you need to um, trade more and play like the long game. If you're behind on cards, maybe you need to go face more and try to pressure them down. How much burst damage do you have in your draw? Like, what kinds of AOE are they likely to have? Uh, there's just like a million things. So 611, Sixteen, seventeen. We're close, but not quite there yet. Chat. Okay. Try, baby. Care more about face damage than minions on board because Mage, I think, has a few too many good ways to answer minions on board. And if I just go face enough, we're gonna create some win conditions off of uh, Arcanite Reaper and our weapon package. So it's just pressure. So like, obviously, I could have pinged a minion and went face for three. But I think the two face damage is significant enough that it's worth the to go face. Creatures. Sacrifice the minion. That way if we get frost open or something, I still create breakpoints. It's a pretty solid Mount Solar turn for Arena, but so far, man, is it whiffed. Man, he needed a taunt or rush minion specifically and doesn't get either. It's tough. Cry, baby. Man, I, I, we out-tempoed and we out hand resourced like good god this is going nuts Garrosh versus Taranda. waffle gasm this guy loves giveaways <laughs> he just loves giveaways i mean this is such a good combo but I, I i feel like i can't keep it this is so good too i'm, I'm gonna go this route instead influx of players since everyone got a free ticket yeah i would say most of those are probably expired by now but maybe you think our opponents are playing poorly, Dead Dog? I mean, there was that one that missed um, the ability to stop lethal. I mean, that was a pretty small, minor thing. He was doomed either way, I think, but I think they've been fine. <laughs> True, it is. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Great soul shear. Excited about coin here. A couple opportunities, either playing into bigger stuff or activating a wretched tutor. All looks pretty good. Guardian Ogbridge next turn might have a play. Buff this and then trade it in. Yeah, indeed it does. Indeed it does, yeah. I don't know if we will, but yeah, I think we will. Uh, I can also just ping that. Uh, that's just way better. What am I thinking? Yeah, that's just... Uh, well, no, it's not. No, it's not. I can't deal damage enough. Never mind. We'll only deal two. Okay. All right, two two ones. I mean, he doesn't have a ping hero power, so this looks solid. Going into whelp, maybe that wretched tutor makes much sense. Whelp, it is. Oh man, coin into lapidary. Actually, do I want to do that now or wait to use that to clear? I mean, there's a chance I draw the soul fragments. It's pretty slim. I'd rather use this to clear a minion, right? We're not really in the face pressure phase yet. Um, 
So I, whatever he plays next, I can use this reactively instead. That's much, much better. If I draw those soul fragments, I'm going to be so mad, dude. Okay, that has to die. Uh, actually, Plague of here is just way better. It's insane. It's like ridiculously insane. All right, now you do these together too. Really clear stuff. Oh, think of the devil. That's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Okay. Well, I don't really need to give it rush. I guess it's hero power. Never mind. What am I thinking? I don't need that. Perfect. Okay. Well, this is just a tempo demonstration so far. My God. I even floated a mana earlier too, though. He's had good plays on curve. Like, it's not like he's not doing stuff. <laughs> he's been doing stuff. We will hold the black temple. Oh, that's big. Um, that's actually a little more awkward now. Man, I don't, I don't want to slam it. I guess I'm actually just going to double trade. Leave these each at one. Feels so wrong, though. I can't. Well, not both at one. Never mind. That doesn't make sense. What do I mean? One's going to die. Like, if I slammed into an execute, like, home run, right? Even if I slammed into, like, a fishy flyer home run. Slam into a weapon's pretty good. There's a lot of good what slams here, know? but... What's the gem? All right, I know what I'm going to do. going to cycle it at the least. Ugh. I need face damage. I'm doing this. It hurts, but I'm doing it. Face damage is too good. Really wanted a better play than this, right? But face damage with double troublemaker and pit croc is just too valuable. Kind of very inefficiently Brilliant. resolve that just to create a win condition here. Power is what you seek. Hulk held. Is what I Scary, but just too slow, right? Yeah, he's just dead. Well, actually, no, not not always dead. I'm off by one. Oh, no, he's always dead. What am I saying? <laughs> Never mind. He's dead. Hunter is dead. Cool. Why did I decide to play some arena? Just because I think dual class arena is really fun. I think it's cool to see classes mixed together and stuff. Garrosh versus Garrosh. Victory or death. Victory or death. Oh, my. This is an interesting hand. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. In case I fall behind early, I like Emulation Aura. This can help me generate stuff to do, both of these. But our deck doesn't really have a lot of stuff to do early sometimes, so. Yeah, Warrior Mirror is this finally our weakness. What did we lose to earlier? I forget. What was it? Oh, it was something crazy, right? This has been an amazing run regardless. If we finish at nine wins, I'm I'm happy, man. That's enough. That This is going on YouTube regardless. I wanted, like, one good dual-class arena run. Nine is more than good enough for me. I mean, I'm sure I've had my fair share of 12 wins in the past, but to not have played Arena in literally maybe a year. I don't know when the last time I played Arena was. It might have been a year ago. To be at this point, I'm I'm thrilled. I think it's Mummy, right? Mummy's really good, and I can play it soon, which is nice. I need stuff to do right now. A lot of reactive cards in hand, nothing uh, proactive. Uh, well, I have, like, nine tickets stacked up. I had ten tickets, maybe, when we started. I don't know. We did one run before this and went three and three. And then we did this run. So when I say I haven't played Arena in a year, I mean before today. We technically played a run before this earlier. This will break. Uh, Mummy there doesn't seem that good because of the ping. Mirror Slicer seems solid. Kind of hate using the coin because we only have. I might need to. I only have low cost stuff, so I might need a gap to high cost plays soon. But whatever, I can play a Mogashan if I have to. By the way, that that information was utter garbage. These are both useless. I'd almost rather do nothing than play these. <laughs> so these are these are negative value results. Ugh. I mean, consider Mogashan versus the Hippogriff, right? My god, it's so much worse. It's so much worse. How do these cards exist together? Alright, we are absolutely playing from behind this game. We're gonna have to flip this here at some point. 
basically use like Emily Storm or Plague of Wrath or you know something that, that pulls us from being behind to being even and then flip off the value of you know whatever troublemakers that was a really bad turn for him though wow that was like one of the worst turns i've ever seen how was his turn so bad this is a fairly weak execute all things considered i don't know if it's worth maybe i just have to soul shear attack yeah but the og merchant and immolation are in hand i think that executes just too too, too bad I think it's too weak. Am I playing this just for tempo? Maybe I'm playing this. In which case, I probably should have hero powered the minion instead of face here, but. Oh. Well, never mind. I can't. Scratch that. This hero powers nothing. It what matters not at all. Better write this down. Eccentric scribe. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna take a gamble here. I'm gonna hope this survives. It's really risky, honestly. But. Uh, there's just uh, like clearly I can deal with that if I want to right like I could restless mommy emulation or stuff But it's just not that exciting. It doesn't survive. That's really sad I mean we still got a clean line here though now, which is the important thing Like this just makes my play so much cleaner Tempoing this out feels so weird, but I think it's probably alright Really wish we had troublemakers right now I just feel really far behind because he's got a two card advantage in hand. I barely have any board. He's clearly got a good deck. He would be at nine wins. That's pretty much a given at this stage moving forward. So I wish I had more tempo or more damage or more minions or more resources, something, right? I don't have any advantages right now except a 3 2. A marginal 3 2 advantage. I want to make that contest, right? So. Good trade, but I don't really need to now, as far as we can tell. What is that going to be? I really need a troublemaker, man. Troublemaker, troublemaker. Seven cards in hand. Still rock on a lackey. Like, what's that? Wait, is that a lackey? Is that from Improved Morale? What is that? I can't read that. Yeah, that's Improved Morale, yeah. What is that lackey, I wonder? Oh, this isn't too bad. If I can kill both of these for this one minion, that's amazing. Maybe that's Titanic lackey? That's Titanic lackey. Well, in that case, it's still going to take eight. Titanic lackey, yeah, okay. Not a big deal. Very, very minor, right? Just dies still. Um, okay. Need Troublemaker. Bigel Whelps, fine. That's a good cycles card, strong play. It's all good. Trading here just in case there's any shenanigans. I mean, I guess he's Warrior Mage. He may not have any buffs. Like, sh no Shield of Honor because it's not damaged. Maybe that's wrong. Actually, maybe should have face. Oh, God. Oh god. Uh you look scared. Okay, this is actually fine. We're good. Bones are you look scared. Oh, my phone's not actually my alarm is going off. Why do I have an alarm set for 4 30 PM? I don't know what that's for. <laughs> that makes me nervous. What's that for, guys? I don't know what that's for. 4.30 p.m. is a weird time for them. I don't know what that's meant to indicate. Uh, that Rusty Vader is way better. That one's a blank. I mean, I can still push through with my hero power. It's fine, but I really, really need a Troublemaker or a Burly Shovel Fest soon. Or Pit Croc right now would be good, too. Troublemaker, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Need him to not have brawl. You gonna cry? I am out of cards. So I'm pretty much all in at this stage. Um, if he has like a brawl and clears this stuff, I probably can't recover without maybe another troublemaker. Magic is not a oh, Mage Scribe is 
Execute, actually, that's pretty good. Get it for nine, though. Like an Argonite Reaper right now would put me on a lethal out. Oh my god, Pick Croc too. Wow. Okay, we're going face. Race is on, basically. Hope you got some good spells, bro. We're in. <laughs> we're in, man. I don't know. He's got too many cards in hand for me to make this a value game. So we're in, dude. Show me Arcanite Reaper, baby. Actually, just show me you can't deal with this board, baby. <laughs> That's what I really need. What now? Play a bunch of two health taunts, baby. Cleave is an interesting start. I mean, he can now... No way. He's got... What is that? Why would you want to deal three? Why is he pinging the three for? What's that? Hellfire? Can't be Hellfire. You're dead to my hero power. What? Oh, Plague of Wrath. Oh, my God. Plague of Wrath is insane off the Maid Scribe. Oh, my God. Reaper off the top. Just in the game. Oh, 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 oh. Lapidary's good, too. That's fine. Let's go. 10 and 0, or 10 and 1. Ten wins, baby. You give me strength. Victory or death. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah, clunky hand here. It's a little nerve-wracking. Emily Shore might help me if I fall behind early. I might use this one just like a 3-2 or something, honestly. We'll see. Hopefully he actually commits a couple of minions early here. Because if we're going to play from behind anyway, Emily Shnora would be more relieved if we killed a few things. Like, I doubt at this stage, though, that anybody's really a super tempo deck. I bet most people have more value decks at this point. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's the best card in the deck, so I already have an Emily Shnora. Pick rock could be better, but we don't. It's impossible to guess that right now. Wanna blow something up? Oh, backfire! No, 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 no! Oh, oh. Well, that's actually not too bad. I can live with that. Oh, I kind of can't though. It's sort of annoying. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have an easy, easy play here. Um, this really hurts, but I think it's right. This really hurts. But I, I do think it's right. Because um, I need I need to either... If, if there's no threat, I play this. If there's a threat, I play this, and it's fine. Basically, I can't ever be so far behind that I can't play a Troublemaker. I think that's where I lose the game, right? If I get that far behind. We ever actually play Disguise Wonder? I mean, is his play to trade in the other Spectral dude? He doesn't have ping, so... I mean, he could have, like, a Mortal Coil, of course, but... Rarely is this going to contest the minion on board like this, so. It's like one of the few good moments for it, maybe. And I think there's a chance he plays the other one to kill the 9-1, which would be a home run for us. That's an instant tempo flip, and we get the advantage with big ol' whelp suddenly. It's not likely necessarily, but it's possible. Oh, he really had the mortal coil. Wow, that sucks. Still, though, pretty low tempo play. Oh, yeah, super low. We're going to win the board anyway. Okay, that works out. Put him on the back clip. Now we know he has the dude and some random spell. Hailbringer's pretty good. Particularly the animated broomstick could be nice to freeze down a board. Composition. Oh, that's weak. I'll marrow slice for the crap out of that. Go phase for five. Plague Wrath's nice with broom, I would say. This is float a little bit of mana, sadly. <laughs> Okay, he's a 22. Brilliant. My next turn's a little light, I'd say. Hailbringer, I think it's fine. Oh, actually, do we like Skystalker better against Priest? Yeah, I want to use this with Broom, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and go here. It's a little bit risky because I do have the Troublemaker. I don't know if I like that or not, actually, now that I think about it for a second. My thought was, I know I have two more weapons in the deck, but I don't know if I'm playing them next turn ever, right? You see, now I wish I didn't do that. A lot of damage. Okay. 
How much does he sink into removing this, right? He's starting to feel a little more desperate all the time. I am the ah, iron okay, perfect, the perfect. Really nice. Fishy flyer to follow here. That makes the troublemaker hero power amazing. It's kind of perfect. You're in my could have gone broom to like guarantee, but I don't think we need to. We're still in a really good spot. Early's awesome. Slam into this stuff could be cool. If we want to like clear enough board to get these to go face for sure. Um, what are we looking at? Like Plague of Death would be scary off that renew. Pin Flinger, Nether Breath. Another breath to heal is nice. Pin flinger. Holy Nova. Okay. Respect. That was amazing. That was a sick turn, dude. <laughs> I'm not even mad, man. That was amazing. That was a sick turn. Not even mad. Does this being damaged or being at eight matter? I mean, I think I'm taking the face damage, right? Like, the one face damage could really make a difference here. And I don't think that being at eight matters. I mean, execute's not a thing. But I'm, I can't think of any damage based. Oh, God. It being at eight was super amazing. <laughs> I made a huge difference damaging it because it's not my minion. Man, look at that, guys. I'm a pro, dude. I'm so good at this game. Okay. So we're getting light on threats and damage right now, though, guys. I'm real worried here. Sort of running out of stuff to do. Kind of need, like, lapidary off the top. We'll be fine. It wasn't that big. Grave rune. Oh god. That's That's too much. How do I deal with that? Um oh god. I don't have any like silence effects. What now? Uh oh god. I I don't know what to do. That should upgrade. Probably. Can't even get through all this, which is insane to think about. Given how much I just put into the board and I'm still not gonna get through it all. It's kind of crazy. And he's playing another taunt, presumably to follow it up, right? <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to do? I have to go, I don't have time to sit and wait. Like he trades here, he plays another one. Oh, he actually just evasive worms, okay. Ever any better for me? Oh my god. Arcanite Reaper, huh? That lets me get three damage to face, but that's not enough. Especially because I can't play Hailbringer. So I guess I get one damage to face and play Hailbringer. Hailbringer's just not that good, though. I know there's another taunt incoming. Well, three more taunts incoming, really. I think I'm just done. Could maybe be an Immolation or an Execute, but I'm out of cards. What now? The problem with this is it just doesn't even line up that well against the board. It's just not that good. But it's all that I have. I think I have to pop the shield here. I don't think the one face damage matters when I know he's got three more taunts, right? It's not like I'm going over the top successfully or anything right now. With no sort of silence. If we'd had a silence, my god, we'd been in business, but... Actually, I'm good here. Dude, that was just such a sick play. I almost can't believe how sick that was. Immolation Aura, huh? Yeah, I don't know what I get here that gets me out of this, but... Oh my god. <laughs> we're, t we're for real at 10 wins, aren't we? Man. We have achieved 10 win status. What do I even need this to hit? I'm dead. I'm dead either way. It doesn't matter. I'm always dead. There's no out. 
you came a turn too late, I think. If I had to come a turn earlier, I think I might have been had a shot, maybe. Came a turn late. He even had a Hellfire chilling too for damage. Wow. That Grave Rune uh, some senior was nuts. Impossible for us to beat them. Is Arena not tracked on... I just replay can't fight it. Okay. Oh, whoa. Quality's out the wazoo. Curve is a little shaky. Yikes, that's a big boy too. Uh-oh. Please whiff. Please don't have a two drop. Please? Oh god. Oh god. Oh man, he's like a tempo deck for once. We actually found an aggro deck and I'm like sitting on all my giant cards. Never... Oh, okay, that's a pass turn. That's nice. Alright, that might give me the hope here. Gives me a shot, finally, I think. Marrow Slicer, 100%. Even though we have the Reaper, right? Oh no, we have two weapons already. There's no way. It has to be Plague of Wrath, right? I already have two weapons. I can't commit to a third weapon right now. Like, I would love to trade one of these out for the Marrow Slicer, but I need diversity in my hand. Not the same cards over and over again. Setting it up for a potential Warblades. I know I have Hero Power too, but... I don't know, it's Priest. I'm always nervous he's going to buff it and stuff, and I need the breakpoints to line up. It may be a waste, but I'm willing to sacrifice one health for a potential waste. Another soul. Okay, that instead. That's fine. Actually, Coin Arcanite's now suddenly pretty interesting. I'm wondering if I have to hold Coin for the Troublemakers, though. Do I just have to? I don't know. I feel like we're really stuck here. I feel like this is really clunky so far. Oh, I just missed a health. Oh, crap. Whoops. Whoops. I was thinking it didn't matter if I hero powered first. We killed it anyway, but I forgot we had lifesteal. Oh, that's so strong. Where's my emulation aura? I just, like, have to coin this, but... I'm so not good here. I'm so not good. Plague of Wrath, it's not going to be very good because of that Divine Shield. I mean, maybe the Arcanite Reaper is good. Going to take too much damage here if I'm not careful, though. Oh, he is trading at least. That's good. That's good. Now Arcanite Reaper threatens out, and I didn't take a billion damage in the meantime. Oh, Marrow Slicer does the same job, doesn't it? But it doesn't really because I might want this damage next turn, too. Oh, I just got to get to these. I'm two turns away, and I don't really have anything to do next turn. But that said, almost all of my deck is a good draw. There's very few, like, dead draws on my deck right now. Oh. Well, that's one of them. We found one. Good job, team. You did it. You did it, guys. You found the one dead draw, man. What now? Gosh, dang it, dude. I drew the only card I couldn't play. I mean, some spells would have sucked too, but... I'm trying to decide if I want to go face with this weapon or if I want to hit the Ogre Mancer in preparation for the Troublemaker to kill it. There's a world where I soften this up to, to the break point where the Troublemaker kills it on the trade. Because if I don't, it's never going to die, right? Other than maybe Burly Shovel Fist. I must My real problem is I don't want to take the damage. I don't want to take an extra three. I almost, like, need to... I don't know. I, I think I'm just always dead. I don't think it matters. Maybe I had to hit it. My my honestly, my hope is that I find like an immolation aura and I can just play Garath next turn instead, but it seems unlikely. Apotheosis. Oh my god. That's so insanely huge. Oh it has to be immolation aura now. And even that's like 
activating all this garbage. So pit croc hit leaves him with so much damage. There's, I'm just so dead. There's no way. It's super over. I'm glad I went face and then he just healed for five <laughs> immediately. Uh, it's just game. Hey, I'm super pumped about 10 wins, though. That's outstanding. First, well, second arena technically in a year. 10 wins feels like a real win. Home run, in fact. Priest seems to be our nemesis, by the way. Man. Priest sucks. Alrighty, let's see what we got, guys. Good for me, because I gotta go. 10 wins. Lots of gold. Look at that beautiful gold. 280 and then another 90. So uh, 370 gold. Is that right? Man. Very nice. A lot of arena runs we just bought. And I still have eight free tickets too. Not a bad pack either, man. Golden? Epic? That's pretty nice. All right. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, we're going to call it a day.